What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Memorial Park Cemetery in Skokie, Illinois. And today we're going to check out some of the famous graves located within this beautiful cemetery. And the first one we're going to start off with is actually the most recent internment here, and that is Jerry Springer. Now, by the time this video gets released, it's probably been a couple weeks since I've been here. But at the time of filming this video, Jerry Springer had just been laid to rest, so you'll see that in just a second. But getting to the first person here, Jerry Springer was born in 1944 in London, England during World War II to refugees escaping the Holocaust. Now, he attended Northwestern University School of Law, qualified as a lawyer, became active in politics. He worked for the campaign of Robert Kennedy in 1968. Um, he became a Cincinnati City Council member. He served as mayor of Cincinnati from 1977 to 1978. Um, he worked as a local news anchor in Cincinnati. He won Emmys for that. Then he went on to host the Jerry Springer Show for 27 years. Now, the Jerry Springer Show is obviously what he's known best for, and he passed away on April 27, 2023, at the age of 79. Now, this is the final resting place of Jerry Springer, and his birth name was Gerald Norman Springer. He has a very simple gravestone off to the side of this that has not been placed yet as of filming of this video, but I'll show you that too just because it's fascinating. And he also has a bench here. So if you feel like coming here and telling him your drama, you are permitted to do that. He left you a space to do so. And this is the headstone that is going to be placed. Now, Jerry Springer might be the most recent internment in the cemetery, and he may even be the most famous, but he is not the only famous person in the cemetery. So let's pick up this tour, and I'll show you who else is laid to rest in the cemetery. If you're a football fan or a local Chicago Bears fan, you might recognize this name. This is the final resting place of Sid Luckman. Now, Sid Luckman was a quarterback for the Chicago Bears from 1939 to 1950. He led the Bears to four NFL championships. He was a three-time Pro Bowler. The Chicago Bears retired his jersey number, number 42, and he was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. After his playing days, he stuck with the Chicago Bears as a quarterback's coach and became vice president of the team. Sid Luckman passed away July 5th of 1998 at the age of 81. Over here is Irv Kupsinet. He was born in 1912 and was a newspaper columnist for the Chicago Sun-Times. He was known affectionately as Cup and was known for Cup's column, which showcased the nightlife in Chicago and celebrity and political gossip. He had a series that was syndicated on over 70 stations across America from 1959 until 1986, and that earned him 15 Emmys and a Peabody Award. He was also known for his commentary on radio broadcasts of Chicago Bears games. He was sometimes referred to as Mr. Chicago and was very well loved within the city. He passed away on November 10th of 2003 at 91 years old. And just over here is Esther, otherwise known as Essie, which was Irv's wife and she was also the mother of Karen Cupsonet. Now Karen Cupsonet was known as Cookie, she was born in 1941 and was the daughter of Irv and Essie Cupsonet. She started acting at the age of 13 and went on to study at the actor studio in New York City. She got access to people in the industry because of her father and his connections, but was soon seen to have talent to take her far in the business. Jerry Lewis offered her first film role in The Ladies' Man, and she appeared in numerous television shows in the early 1960s. Now, she was living in Hollywood getting positive reviews for her work, and she started dating an actor named Andrew Prine and was hoping for an exclusive relationship with him. She became pregnant, and he wasn't willing to settle down and was seen dating other women. Now, one night, Karen was spying on Andrew, and after they heard some noises, police were called and they discovered Karen in their attic. Now, on November 28th of 1963, Karen had dinner with Mark Goddard from Lost in Space fame and his wife in Beverly Hills. The couple later reported that she showed up late and would barely eat, and they also said that her voice was funny and she was acting unusual. Two days later, Mark Goddard and his wife showed up to check on her after not hearing back from her, 
and they said that he had a funny feeling that something was wrong. Upon entering the apartment, he found her body laying on the couch. Police found prescription drugs in the apartment and a note, but Coroner Harold Cade concluded that she had been strangled and her death was ruled a homicide. Her murder was never solved. Just over here is the final resting place of actor Robert Reed. Robert Reed was born in 1932, and he was an actor best known for the legal drama The Defenders from 1961 to 1965, but he was best known as Mike Brady from The Brady Bunch. Now, he had numerous other roles in film and television, and he ended up not liking The Brady Bunch or his role as Mike Brady, but he did come back for all the spinoffs. Robert Reed passed away in November of 1991. He was originally diagnosed with colon lymphoma, but when his death certificate became public, it was revealed that he was HIV positive that was listed as one of the conditions that contributed to his death. Now over here we have the final resting place of James Lewis Kraft. He was born in 1874 and started as secretary and treasurer of Shefford Cheese Company. He became a partner and the agreement was quickly dissolved and he ended up stuck in Chicago where he used his remaining $65 to rent a horse and a wagon and he established his own business buying cheese wholesale and selling it to grocery stores. It became Kraft Foods and he developed a process and received a patent for it in 1916 for pasteurizing cheese so it wouldn't spoil. During World War II, Kraft Foods experienced a huge spike in business because they were providing the U.S. Army with pasteurized cheese, which this would be referred to as government cheese. James Kraft passed away on February 16, 1953, at the age of 78 years old. And next we have actress Elaine Stritch. She was born in 1925 in Detroit, Michigan, and she was known for her work on Broadway and television. She had a successful one-woman show called Elaine Stritch at Liberty, for which she won a Tony Award in 2002. She made appearances on a lot of films and TV shows, and she was a very familiar face. But a couple of my favorites were Out to Sea with Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon, and she was also in Monster in Law, and she had a recurring role as Colleen Donaghy on 30 Rock. Uh, she was just an absolutely hilarious actress and just a phenomenal person from everything I've ever heard. She passed away on July 17th of 2014 at the age of 89, and she was laid to rest right here at Memorial Park in Skokie, Illinois. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.